Hey, it's Harker from Play. Today I'll show you how you can take fully designed pages from Figma and import them into your Play project. Then you can make them responsive and interactive. Then you can share it to anyone with an iPhone using an Apple app clip. We'll start with this create account page in Figma that we've designed using auto layout. I'm gonna copy that, Command C from Figma and paste it, Command V into Play. And we've pasted it onto the canvas, which is great for exploration, but anytime you want something to be included in your final prototype, it needs to be on the page. So we're going to take this and we're going to drag it onto the page. Now it doesn't look great, even though I've already turned off my top and bottom safe area padding. So that allows my design to be meeting the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. It's still not filling all of that space. And you can see if I change this iPhone model, to be any of these other sizes, it looks okay on some of them, but on some of them, it completely crops the design. This is not what you want, obviously. So let's make this responsive so it can work across any iPhone. We're gonna select this whole stack that we just imported over the create account. We're gonna set the width to be fill and the height to be fill. Now when we do that same thing with the model slider, you can see it looks good across all of these sizes, even the one that had previously cropped basically this whole login flow. So that's page one. Now we need to bring in page two, which is this onboarding. So I'm just gonna copy this, but instead of pasting it onto the same page, the same way you would in Figma, where all pages are on the same page, for lack of a better word, in play, each page is a separate view. So we're gonna need to go down to this pages tab and create a new page here for page two. This is where we're gonna paste that one in. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna set the width to be fill, the height also to be filled. And then on the page, we're gonna make sure and turn off the top and bottom safe area padding. And now I can just drag this in and it looks good to go. So now we can add interactions. So we'll go back to page one. I'm gonna close my Figma and I'm gonna open a simulator so we can test this. Okay, so we need to add a interaction that takes us to page two when the user taps this sign up button. So we're gonna enter interaction mode with that selected and on here, we'll add a tap trigger. On the tap trigger, so when the user taps this, we wanna take them to the next page. So we're gonna use an open page action. This page pro property lets us select which page we're gonna be taken to. So that's gonna be page two. And then we can try out different styles. So first let's try default, which is a native way to navigate between pages. When I press sign up, it's gonna open that as basically a native sheet because we don't have a navigation bar. So let's not do default. Instead, let's try full screen, which is also native. Now when I click this, it's gonna come up from the bottom. So that looks great, but you could also use a custom side, or you could also use a custom open page transition where you can choose which animation you wanna do. You can also adjust the easing here, the duration, all of that. So now when I press sign in, it's gonna push in from the side. Maybe I don't want push in, maybe I want scale in instead. So you can see how that looks. Maybe this is a little too long. Let's make it shorter. So you can see, you can test out all these different iterations in just seconds to figure out what works best for your prototype. So we could end there and this could work. But one of the things that I think is really cool about Play is that it feels real and it gives you access to native elements. If you're in Figma and you have an input text field like this, you would just click it and then it would auto fill with some random data to simulate that you type something in. You can't actually use the input text field, but in play you can. So we're gonna go back into design mode and we're gonna replace these text elements with text fields. So I actually already have these created down here. So I'm just gonna go into each text field stack here and I'm gonna delete the actual text. So we'll delete that. Then I'm gonna drag this input text field into this stack. I'm gonna do the same thing for password. Now you can see it's a little bit more spaced out than it was before. So I'm just gonna change the gap spacing of both of these to be two instead. And then I think it looks good to go. So now I can test this out on the simulator. So now when I try typing in, I can type something. But what I think is really, really cool is for the password here, we've actually let Play know that this is a password. So it's going to protect this. So now when I start typing something in, you can see it has these little dots here that are protecting that password. So that's another little thing that makes Play feel even more real. You could actually type something in, but it's still gonna be protected, just like it would be in a normal app. So now we'll just click sign up, and now it still takes us to the next page. If you had other pages, you could just continue to bring those in, make them separate pages in Play, connect it all, and then you're gonna finish it off by publishing it as an app clip. So you'll click publish, 
publish here from this app clip. And then you can just take that link and send it to anyone with an iPhone. They'll get to experience the exact same thing we just did on our simulator. So that's how you can move pages over from Figma, make them responsive and interactive in play, just generally make everything feel more real and then send it. Thanks so much for watching this video.